yes, yes, yes. I'm excited. I have lots of stuff to test out. I don't know if anybody has even done the uh, the pet hatching thing over here. Yep. Allow in-person hatching if you allow in-person hatching. <laughs> All right, Gobbler. Then when a player wants to hatch with one of your pets in the kiosk, you'll be asked if you would like to be teleport to hatchery to hatch with their pet. Uh, I think it's a little bit of a uh, wording wording issue there. You can turn this option on and off using a button on the hatchmaking kiosk's main menu. Would you like to allow in-person hatching for your pets? Okay, so yes. Um, let's just say offer pets. I don't even know how many I have. Okay, so let's see if maybe there's anything in here. Does it tell you? Okay, search in-person pets for talents. There we go. I don't want to search for it like that. <laughs> um, where's pets by type? Kiosk cost. Okay. And then do you have where... I think maybe if they were able to hatch in person, maybe you'd have an in-person cost? I don't know. I think this might be a little hard to test and to test. But the reason why they offer it is because if you were willing to put your pet in the kiosk and say, yeah, I'm willing to hatch in person to make it cheaper, then you would say, I guess there's maybe a pop-up saying, hey, so-and-so wants to hatch with you. You want to go like right now in person? And you say, like, yeah, and then you go and then it's cheaper. So I think that's what that's for. Oh, look at that. Rebecca Nightmare would like to hatch a pet in person and time left to respond. Teleport. Oh, this is so cool. We can finally test it out. Yay, 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 yay. Okay, there's Rebecca. Oh, look at that. It's got a big arrow over him. That's awesome. It would have been better if we just teleported directly to this, but let's see. Don't leave. Oh, okay. Hi, sweet pea. Oh, they left. Well, now we know what happens, but, uh, oops. Uh, kind of random. Kind of random. Okay. 